G'day guys, welcome to the channel. For those who aren't familiar, we, when we're not farming or working with the D11s, we like to experiment and push things to their limit a bit, just so we know and also just for a bit of fun. So currently, what we're doing at the minute, there's a bit of a break, uh, we had a bit of rain, so we're amusing ourselves. And what we're doing is testing these slings. We've been using quite a few of these uh, through harvest when we've got stuff bogged. And they're great because you can just wrap them around anything uh, and they will break first as opposed to when you've got a massive strap. So when you've got straps like this, this is actually a 20 ton sling, which we've been using a bit too. So that's a 120 ton um, breaking strain on that. So yeah, it's quite big and cumbersome, but yeah, when we use that on something, obviously that's not gonna break, it's gonna snap something else. So if you just wrap one of these, you can even double these up, do whatever you want, and it works quite well. So yeah, we're gonna start off with all six on the between the dozers. Um, that should hold it up. And then eventually, I think when we get to four, that's when it wouldn't surprise me if they start breaking. But um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see. We wanna know sort of what we're working with um, when we're using these straps. So the two dozers should have about 120 tons of pulling force. Now that's when they were new, so I don't know what they got now, but if we just said 100 ton, so six of these should well and truly pull them up. And here we have the one of the masterminds behind some of the things we do. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting, I think. Which one do you think is gonna win, mate? Uh, I don't know. Tiny 2 is a little bit lighter, but it's got more traction. So, what do you think? I think Tiny 2 is going to win, just because of the extra lugs. The lugs, yeah. I don't think either of them are going to stall out. You reckon they'll spin? They'll spin. Yeah. But, but if one's going to win, it'll be Tiny 2. Oh, we're, we're about to find out, I think. Remember to subscribe if you're interested in this sort of thing. There'll be these sort of videos from time to time, um, plus, fairly regular content regarding farming or dozers whatever we're doing um, so yeah make sure you subscribe and hit the like button as well and we'll get into it guys we've um, proved that tiny one here just gets dragged backwards even when the tracks are spinning so what we'll probably do now is just leave that stationary use that as an anchor while we test the rest of these straps otherwise we're just gonna keep chewing up big holes here
actually quite surprising that um, yeah four straps held it fine but three straps didn't so uh, yeah that's what well three straps would be a braking strain of 63 ton so I think it well and truly did more than that what what's your consensus that was that was what four held it fine didn't even look like any strain but number three actually that took three. most of it didn't it look what it did to the buffer the wood that we put in there to yes. save it from the sharp edge so he put a piece of wood in here to um stop just to help protect the the, the sling from this um, sharp edge on the shank uh, but yeah that's well and truly smoothed off that's, but that surprises me that we we're down to three were we yep that, that was three but so was that why do you reckon you're 85 percent of pulling when it broke i'm not sure what the tractive efficiency was but the tractor had a lot more to give yeah but three, but four just dragged this one. So I reckon this one, this tiny one here, was about to get dragged backwards. Then yeah, it seems like a waste of money to do this, but they're about twenty bucks Australian each strap. But this is really helpful for us to know what we can do out in the paddock, or what sort of how many straps or slings that we need to get out of a problem. And we only only break three. We're and still we're still got three over here. And if you had the same capacity in a chain, you wouldn't be able to lift them and do it. These yeah. you can carry six at once. Yeah, they these are really easy and. If you're in a pinch, you can join them together to make them longer. You can do anything. So they're very, quite universal. Nice. Um, but yeah, that's, I was surprised actually how easy it dragged this one, tiny one backwards. And we're actually on a bit of an incline. So that one's going slightly uphill. So that was struggling against a little bit of gravity, not too much, but um, very interesting. So to sum it all up, we reckon that these straps each have a braking strain of probably closer to 30 ton and that means yeah that is pretty impressive really seeing as they're a three ton strap so the safety factor is probably really one to ten so quite amazing actually but that's very handy for us to know